Hey everybody, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone Showcase. What I got for you today is Cass's new categorized sorter. The 1.4.0.7 version. Yeah, that's what he calls it. It's the recategorizer. So technically this is version 4, but it's a brand new system entirely. So, I'm up. Uh, he did a really good job explaining on how the system works, and I'm going to only fill in things that don't work for Bedrock that he didn't mention. So, if you want to know all the details on how it works, watch his video. Link to it will be in the description. But, so, pretty much... The way his video is, it's this is the exact, oh, well, close enough because we can't have item frames next to each other. No matter how much I want to place the item frame right here, I can't. So we're stuck with uh, having this pillar just as a divider, but yeah, that just drives me nuts. <laughs> but the system works the same. I've got signs up everywhere, so... There is going to be a world download. It is going to be in my Discord under Wizard Worlds download. So if you want to take a look at this yourself, before I put the tutorial out, go right ahead. Now, in here, in this chest, I've got uh, just a bunch of, I got two shulker bikes that are identical, and some loose items. Yes, this lever is going to be going away. So I flip it off. It will take, unload, and the shulker boxes will unload and process. And this is the same shulker box unloader that I use all the time because I find it reliable. And, oh yeah, the thing is, if you don't use 100% reliable, things like TNT will blow up inside of there. So, we're just going to let it run. <laughs> Now, non-stackables will go in here, and according to the way that this is set, they will be loaded with into shulker boxes. Of course, I don't want them to be loaded in with shulker boxes anymore. There we go. So, as you can see, we got an item elevator, a shulker box checker. It just pretty much checks and see if there's a shulker box in there, and if it not, it dispenses it out. Then we have our bulk storage. Now, this bulk storage is just the standard item sorter that everybody knows. Fully expandable, overflow protected, running deep slate, cobblestone, stone, netherrack. You can add a lot more if you want. Then in here, I've got what's called the special filtration or item safety filters. This is not required, but it's a good idea, especially if you're playing on a server, a multiplayer server, and everybody's allowed to throw things in your storage, and you don't want people throwing things that will break the system, and those items will automatically get destroyed. Now, we have items actually going through right now. Um... Occasionally, I've noticed that sometimes I might do that, but yeah, it's just the items processing. As they come in, these items will be loaded up, and we got a clock here, making sure that things go off, and this is how that is set up. Items will continue going until they run out and items will be locked into certain areas and then just break off. This is set up for, you can remove this after you have everything programmed, but this is set up just for the programming purposes if you mess up. So now what happens is after it goes through there, it goes through there, it comes and passes into this one if this one doesn't work, if this one doesn't have the item needed. So we're actually sorting them out parallel. See, so we got chests. We've got that getting ready to load. It's loading. 
And in the other one, it should be launching soon. As soon as it finishes unloading, it'll launch. And... Okay, it launched over. Now it's ready to just go into the next one. And that one's still going. We are processing them in parallel. And if this one doesn't have it, and that one doesn't have it, it goes into here. And then this one, if it doesn't have it, it goes into two little areas here. Non-stackable, which is completely unlocked unless you get an item that stacks. It is a stack non-stackable. Stackable items are non-stackable. And they go and how the setup is. Now, if we come over here, this is the bare bones of the entire build. Every slice is identical, except for our non-stackable slice. Oh no, our overflow and our non-stackable slice. Our card holder and our launching system is set up uniquely. This technically is three different sorters in one, which makes it far more powerful. Now, as you can see, this is really small. And we've got, I've got a few items here and there. That's from testing. Let's just pull some of these items out. Ooh. And I'll just put them directly into here. Now, this is going to sort, and while this lamp is on, which has one in there too, it will keep this lamp on while items are in the first slot. Then, based around what slot they go in, is based around when the lamp goes on. It doesn't, ah, no more disco lights. Direct lighting for the slice that it is getting pulled to. Now, the question, now I know some people's question is, can I make it bigger? And the answer is yes. Just because I know how some people are, because that's how I am. I want to make them bigger. I want to see how big I can make them, type thing. I can make this even bigger. <laughs> this is a massive set. I don't know how big it is. I didn't count it. I just built and built and built. But here we've got bulk storage, everything the same, and it's all connected properly. So now we've got the basic rundown of it. What differs from the Java edition and the Bedrock, first off I have added, this is the basic shulker loader. Then we have a advanced where you can actually take items that are in here that are non-stackable, throw them in here, and they get loaded in. And this one has just no additives at all. Though these two have the filtration, uh, the over, uh, the bulk protection and unloader. And then again, it's just base. Completely, uh, completely versatile. So many different advanced, uh, so many different options you could put into this thing. But it's all based around the base, and then we just put in whatever little add-ons we want, including other modules. And you can even expand this out even more by dropping them further down, uh, by dropping them down into another section if you want. That's strictly up to you how big you want to make it. And you can expand it even more. Now, one thing that Java has that Bedrock doesn't is the reason why we're using a barrel here instead of a chest. Because a minecart, when activated, cannot pass through a chest. It can pass through a slab, it can pass through a trap door, but it cannot, uh, it cannot pass through anything bigger than a half a block. It will not snap to the rail. So I had to find a way to be able to send it under there and be able to lock it, uh, be able to collect the items. And we're locking this hopper to prevent this hopper from pushing the items in there while the items get sucked up from there first. 
So, yeah, and we have our little clock that's a little bigger than Cass's, but it works. So many options you can actually add to this thing. So. And so far we haven't had any major downfalls. This should have uh, processed into here. Uh, something weird happened, huh? Get back in there. Because I threw TNT and it and here it is. It's not even blown up yet. Right, if there's a glitch in the system, you might get things in the wrong area. There was a glitch beforehand. That's the reason why that netherite scrap was there. But don't worry about it. It it's, uh, was adjusting things while it was processing. But as you can see, items, even things that stack up to 60, no, 16, process without it. And the way you set it up is exactly the same way in Cass's video. So, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Special thanks to my patron, uh, The Judge Man. Thank you so much for the support. And if you guys have any questions or comments... Please leave it down in the comment section. Section if it's a major issue, I recommend you joining my Discord. Link to that will be in the description. If you want to support me, you can subscribe. But you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.